You know, you almost have to wonder if that third round was called a 10-8. And I'll tell you, our next fight, Jan Finney is taking on Vanessa Mello. We're going to the females. The women always bring a good fight. Jan Finney is a veteran of the game, fighting since 2004. The free color from Brazil, Vanessa Mello. And here is her opponent, Vanessa Mello. Miss Simpiata, Simpatia. Let me, let me correct that. Miss Sympathia, Vanessa Mello, 9-5 and five record, taking on Jan Finney. This should be another great matchup here. And once again, another fighter from Brazil, Vanessa Mello from Sao Paulo. Vanessa Mello has a very interesting story, George. She started her career 3-4, three, three wins, four losses. She's six and one since four fight win streak. So this girl's coming in with a ton of momentum. And it's something else to me. I'm always impressed by that. When a fighter starts so slow in their career, and then they find it. Finding their rhythm, things start to come together and really make sense. That confidence starts to grow with every single win. That confidence gets higher and higher and higher. Once again, six and one in her last seven fights and coming off of a four fight win streak as she heads in to fight Jan Finney tonight. Miss Simpatia. We've seen other dominant Brazilian females in the sport of MMA. Uh, this is another example of a top Brazilian female coming here to put on display. Almost reminds me of the UFC champion from Brazil. Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes, lost the tip of my tongue there. Miss Amanda Nunes, double champ. The Lioness. The Lioness. So we'll see how she compares to Miss Amanda Nunes, of course. Well, for what it's worth, uh, her opponent, Vanessa Mello's opponent, Jan Finney, has been in there with everybody but Amanda Nunes. She's fought Misha Tate, Holly Holm, Cyborg, Valentina Shevchenko, Liz Carmouche, and Julie Kenzie. Jan Finney has been in with a who's who of MMA fighters. And tonight she's going against a four fight win streak of Vanessa Miss Sympathia Mello. And it's gonna go down here at Battlefield FC2. Great point, Scott. When you're fighting that type of competition at that kind of level, it really puts you on a different pedestal. What will be interesting is Jan Finney, while she's been fighting since 2004, hasn't fought so in a year and a half. Ring rust is a factor. Jan Finney. Well, we'll see. That's what we're going to find out right now, George. We don't know until she steps in the cage. But a year and a half? She's in her 40s now? Usually. It usually is usually a factor. Usually is a factor. And of course, then you have her opponent, who's just being really active. Four fight win streak fights all the time. And here comes Jan Finney. Jan Finney's a beast. That girl's got guns. Strong, physical fighter. And again, been in with everybody. A strike force veteran. And she's going to bring it here tonight at Battlefield FC. Our second fight of the main card, Jan Finney versus Vanessa Mello. As you had mentioned, Scott, Jan Finney with a little bit more experience than Mello. Ladies and gentlemen, and now we begin our next match. Three rounds over five minutes.
in the Battlefield Fighter Championship 135 catch weight. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, she is famous Brazil fighter, standing at 165 centimeters tall. Official weight, 138.8 pounds. Holding a record of nine wins, five losses. Training at Babino Gold Team, representing Brazil. Please welcome Simpatia Palestra! And now, introducing her opponent out of the red corner, she is strike post top fighter, standing at 170 centimeters tall, official weight 139.7 pounds, holding a record of 11 wins, 13 losses, training at Beaver Creek Martial Arts, representing the United States. Give it a four. Cardinals, Jan Yeah, I don't know how much cuddling she's going to be doing tonight, but Jan Cuddles Finney taking on Miss Sympathia, Vanessa Mello, and it's going to go down right now at Battlefield FC2 here in Macau, China. Miss Sympathia, Sympathia meaning sympathy, which I'm not sure how much sympathy we're going to have in the cage here this evening. Yeah, I don't think Finney's going to be giving any sympathy. Okay. Finney from Beaver Creek, Ohio. Okay. Mello from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And we are off. Again, we talked about that ring rust. Right now, Jan Finney just trying to let it go early. You can see. She's not looking to feel anything out. Nice leg kick and a response from Mello. Nice jabs, Finney. Both ladies engaging here. Yeah, we've got a good one on our hands. You can see it already. Nice body kick right there. A little push kick. And a return from Mello. Some great counters and head movement from Mello returning. Now you can see Jan Finney's got a little bit of length on Mello, and so far she's using that jab. Really nice. And Mello trying to time it with an overhand counter. Once again, Finney in the purple, Mello in the white and gray. Nice combination from Finney, and again, Mello with the return. Like you had mentioned, Scott, Finney's got some, some length, he's got some reach. She's able to get in, get out, avoid some strikes. Yeah, but we've seen it with the jab and the push kick already. She's doing a good job of using that length early. You can see Mello's got some tricks up her sleeve in terms of counters and some, some head movement. Yeah, it definitely appears to be a counter fighter. Or at least is working on the countering this time, this way early because Jan Finney's come out firing. Nice right cross from Finney. Mello trying to return. Nice jab by Finney taking Mello off balance. Really nice leg kick there by Mello. You heard that one. Yeah, a little inside leg kick. Finney tries to respond. Finney looks in phenomenal shape. Nice hook counter right there from Mello coming in. You see Finney just stalking her opponent. Nice jab. That jab's a weapon for her early in this fight. She's using that jab very, very well, as she should. Really using her reach to her advantage. Yep, she also has a little step-in hook she's using. Nice little Superman. Yep. Didn't land heavy, but it was enough to show something else. Right hand from Mello. These girls just exchanging early here in round number one, halfway through. Should have said early in the fight here, halfway through round number one. Again, that push kick attempt from Jan Finney. Yeah, Finney's most high-profile fight was when she fought Cyborg in Strikeforce. 
So she's not going to be intimidated by anybody. And she's fought some tough Brazilian fighters before. No different tonight. Nice jab, move offline to avoid the counter from Melo. Nice. Putting that jab cross and then putting more punches behind it. Good head movement. Really impressed with Jan Finney early. I like the boxing. Finney's doing a great job yeah. with the one-two, changing angles. You know, we, you talked about the potential for ring rust, which is absolutely the potential is there. I'm not seeing any of it. That was that step and hook right there. She's using very nice. One minute left in the first round. Melo's really looking to figure out the timing of Finney and trying to counter and take advantage here. Having a real hard time doing it right now. Nice hook there from Melo. Probably the best punch he's landed in the fight. And a big right hand right after that. So as soon as we set it, now you're seeing Melo starting to get a little more comfortable, maybe finding that timing a little bit. You can see she's coming forward more now. Nice body shot. Leg kick from Bello. And a return from Finney. Nice exchanges going on. Nice hook. That lead hook. That and the jab has been Finney's weapon the entire round. Good first round for Jan Finney. Nice catch, almost returned from Melo, and that is the end of round one. Very impressive round for Jan Finney. I thought she controlled the pace, controlled the range, and landed a lot of jabs in that round. Some nice hooks towards the end of the round as well. She's playing to her strengths. She's, she's got that reach, using that jab very, very well, and just really keeping it simple with the strikes. And you can see that hard parry where she came with the left hand, knocked the hand down and threw the right over it. I will say Melo being the counter fighter, she's really looking to get the timing of Finney down and take advantage of her. We'll see how that plays into round two. The more time that goes by, the more Melo starts to really understand the pace. Yeah, and they, they just showed a great exchange right there. Both ladies landing shots right there, Melo with the big right hand. Second off. Second off. Second off. Here we are, round number two, about to get started. I notice Vanessa Mello has an American top team in her corner. Okay. Very okay. interesting. Out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and she's got an American top team. ATT imports fighters from Brazil, so that's, I can see that. Makes sense. Once again, Jan Finney and Vanessa Mello. Finney starting out with those kicks and her jabs, keeping that distance once again. But Melo had some success towards the end of that round. Both girls landing right there. Gotta love the in and out style of Jan Finney. Textbook. Now, Mello doesn't have the same ability. She does not as long as Jan, so she's really playing to her own strengths, trying to counter. And what she did right there, fantastic, was she cut her off. She didn't chase her, she didn't follow her. She cut her off and making Jan Finney fight in front of her. Right now, Finney has no problem with that, landing a nice right hand once again. Two, two right hands in that combination that landed. You can see Melo trying to back Finney up. Keep going. <laughs> so, so she pointed out that there's water, and uh, the ref won't stop it to clean it up. <laughs> Stay out of that corner. Stay out of that corner. Don't slip. And, you know, the problem with that is that's where the corner for Vanessa Melo is. So obviously that's something that uh, hopefully between rounds they'll, they'll clear up a little bit. Nice jab again. You 
see a little more of a feeling out round here in round two. I'm starting to see both ladies are evenly matched in that some shots are being landed by Jan, but what? not necessarily significant. That was a nice lead uppercut, but what I will say is you're starting to see some of the snap come off the punches of Jan Finney. Maybe that ring rust is starting to kick in a little bit right now. She started off a lot of snap to her shots, and right now there's really nothing. And Mello started out a little slower, so she might, Mello might have a little bit more in the gas tank right now. Yep. Finney with a beautiful combination, body into the head. And right there, she's still throwing. They are not afraid to engage. Mello's trying to close that distance and bring it to her. We're about halfway through round number two. Once again, Jan Finney in the purple, Mello in the white and gray. Cuddles versus Miss Sympathia. No sympathy or cuddles today. Things starting to slow down a little bit. A very evenly matched fight here, and you'll see that a lot with evenly matched fights. Kind of canceling each other out right now. It becomes more tech because of more technical battle. They're, they're starting to s try to figure out where the holes, where are the gaps, so they can take advantage. And so that takes a little bit more assessment. Yeah, that lead hook from Finney continues to be a weapon for her. That jab and the lead hook have been her best weapons of the night. While Mello continues to try to counter. Beautiful hook kick right there. Hook into the kick. Great front kicks that the Jen is playing right there. Yeah, front kicks, the jab, and the lead hook have been her main weapons. One minute left in the second round. I'm thinking Mello has to do more if she wants to make an impression on the judges in this fight. Being the counter fighter, she's being a little more defensive. And on cue, she landed some nice shots right there. Might have bloodied the nose. Can't see if it, if it did. Great exchange there. Yeah, you can see Mello is starting to get a little more comfortable and landing a little more clean now. Now this would be the kind of round where if one of these girls could get a takedown, it might mean the difference in who wins the round. Ten seconds remaining. We're going to just strike it out on the feet. And they're just going at it right here. Five seconds remaining, and they're just brawling. That's what we're looking for. Jan is taking some shots. Finney and Mello going at it to end round number two. These ladies are choosing to keep it standing on the feet. They're banging it out here. A lot of these changes going on to punches. Really haven't seen many takedown attempts. Inside leg kick right there by Mello. One to the overhand. I think Mello's getting more and more confident. She's really starting to open up here, starting to put some things together. Yeah, you could see the counter game for her starting to definitely pay dividends. That was a big right right there. As a counter fighter, you really start to figure the timing and really start to put some stuff together. The more the fight goes on, the better they become. And I'll tell you, after that exchange, Sick both enough. girls really laid it out there at the end Sick of round enough. number two. You could argue that both both women have won round one. Yeah, this is another one of those tough fights to score. Glad I'm not a judge. So just calling the action. because Great matchmaking going on here and that these really fighters is. are evenly matched. You're seeing a lot of these fights go to the third round. There we go, taking care of the water spillage there. Yeah, you'll be hard-pressed to find a card better matched than, than this card tonight at Battlefield FC2. And we get started. Round number three, the third and final round. Finney versus Mello. Nice right hand and then a counter from Mello. We talked about Mello really finding her timing. 
And Finney continues to land that lead hook. Melo's got to get inside. In terms of volume, Finney's throwing a lot more punches and, and strikes. And so in terms of volume, I think uh, Finney's got the advantage there. Yeah, absolutely. No question about it. Which is why I think Melo has to really... This is her opportunity. This is her third round. that She really needs to pull the trigger here. You can see she's trying to still work that counter game. She's got to come forward and attack right now. Nice jab. I think some more jabs, some kicks in between those counters would really kind of put things together. Yeah, right now it's all hands. No takedown attempts, no kick attempts right now from Melo. That lead hook over and over again. Finney's got to be feeling pretty good about herself. A year and a half away from the cage. And she's coming out with a really nice performance tonight. Nice right hand and getting out of the way right afterwards. Jab and getting out of the way right afterwards. Beautiful work from Finney. A lot of times, just because a fighter isn't fighting, they're still training, they're still you know in a camp, they're still doing the work, but not necessarily fighting in competition. Now she looks in phenomenal shape. And it looked like she might have slowed down in the second round a little. Right now, she's looking fantastic here early in the third. Coming out firing. And this is one of those fights where if you look at the record, Mello 9-5, and five, Finney 11-13, you think this is Mello's advantage, but you know this looks like a Finney's kind of fight right here. You talk about the tough Brazilian fighters, especially the ATT, uh, American top team and their affiliates down in Brazil. They well, create some amazing fighters. That's where Amanda Nunes is. Doesn't get any better than that. And her girlfriend Nina Ansaroff is there as well. So you got some great women fighters out of American top team. Makes sense why Vanessa Mello would be down there. Another push kick from Jan Finney to keep away. Looks like she might have hurt her foot there. I don't know if she did, but she was looking down. We'll see if it affects her. Nice little counter combo landed by Mello. Seems like the foot's okay. Nice lead hook again. Yeah, that's been the weapon of the night for her. Beautiful fake hook into that kick. That's the first hard combination that, uh, that uh, Mello's landed. Mello understands a sense of urgency. This is the final round for opportunity. Yeah, these girls, it. these girls need to lay it all on the line right here. This could be anybody's fight. I've seen the judges in previous fights. The judges' calls have been unusual. The fight right before this, Prado and Kim being called a draw. So neither of these fighters want to leave it to the judges. They've got a minute 25 to make an impression. Nice right landing by Finney. Yeah, she's going to win the fight off that lead hook alone. Good head movement from Finney. Mello with a nice combination. We are in our final minute, round number three. Jan Finney and Vanessa Mello. This has been completely fought on the feet. Story of the fight, Finney was first off, Mello trying to counter. Down to the last 30 seconds here. Mello doing a good job of countering here in the final minute. Spinning back fist attempt there by Finney. And another one. Would have liked to see that a little earlier, but it's good to see her letting it go. And look at her finish the fight scroll. Both ladies landing shots on each other. And that is it. I'll tell you, they fought with their hearts. At the end of the second and third round, they laid it all on the line. Great fight for the ladies. And my hat off to Jan Finney. A year and a half out of the game. 
I think she just pulled off the victory. We're going to find out right now. Vanessa Mello with her arms up, feeling confident as well. Very closely matched fight here, and, and so has been the case with other fights. Really great matchmaking. But, you know, with judging, too, it's hard to be a judge because it depends on where you're sitting, where your view of the action is, or how you look at the fight. We're going to find out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn to the judges' scorecard. All three judge judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by a non-animous decision from the Brie Corner, Miss Simpatia Hamesa Mello! It has happened again, George. The winners of tonight's event I'm, I'm a little surprised by that decision. And but again, you leave it to the judges, and that's what happens. Yeah, that's, that's very unusual there. We, we saw Jan Finney land so many jabs, so many front hooks. I mean, in terms of sheer volume, Jan landed more punches. And so you always wonder, what's the judge thinking? Is it more significant strikes that they, that they felt that Mello maybe landed more significant strikes in that, she, you know? So it's really kind of throw some questions in the air. Yeah, I, I don't know how that was scored. I don't, I, don't, I don't get that at all. We got the corner of Jan Finney coming over here with his arms up, like what happened on that call? Yeah, that's doesn't make sense there. But you know, that is the game. We've seen it plenty of times in mixed martial arts. You leave it to the judges, and the judges, who knows how they're scoring that fight. We've seen it at the highest levels, not not just you know, in the UFC and Bellator. Sometimes you have judges that you don't know their area of expertise, what their background is, not necessarily experts in MMA or martial arts.